Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another video. It has been a while since we posted a cleaning tutorial. The last time I did, a lot of you commented and said that I needed to chill out. I have relaxed a bit when it comes to cleaning, which is why there's something kind of gross that we need to solve today with a cleaning tutorial. Before we get started, if you are new, welcome. I'm Erin, this is Charlotte. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap the little bell button so that you can get notifications for when we post new videos. You might remember from my BuzzFeed parenting tip video that I plugged up all of Charlotte's bath toys. We call them squirtles. But here's the deal, we got some new ones as gifts and I never plugged up the hole because she loves to squirt. And they're just more fun this way. We've had these in the bath for a little bit and they're starting to smell dank. I guess, like kind of that wet smell. Ew. Today, we are going to go through how to deep clean your bath toys. A lot of people take these out and put them in a bowl or a basin to clean them, but my feeling is we're already in the bathroom, so we might as well just use the bathtub. Let the water run for a few seconds so that it gets really, really hot. I want to basically do like a gallon of water, so I'm just going to eyeball that and say that it's like two inches at the bottom. Next, I'm going to add one cup of white vinegar. I keep this giant jug of it in the bathroom because I use it to clean pretty much everything. And now we are going to put the bath toys, or squirtles in our case, into the cleaning solution. If you wanted, you could also add a few squirts of soap. I sometimes do that just because it smells good. You also could add a little splash of bleach if you wanted. That's definitely a personal choice based on how often your kids are putting the toys in their mouth. I use this little brush to scrub the grout in our bathroom. I ran it through the dishwasher and rinsed it a bunch so that I can use it to clean these little bath toys. Let's give them a scrub. can actually make the holes bigger because then there's a little bit more airflow and clean the inside with like a pipe cleaner or a bottle brush. I'm never gonna do that. Fill up each toy with a little bit of a liquid and squeeze it out, fill it up, squeeze it out, fill it up, squeeze it out to clean up the inside. Okay, while those ones are rinsing, I actually want to cut one of these guys open and see if there's any mold inside. Let's go get a knife. So this guy is actually clean. Of course, in my crazy brain, I'm looking at this going, well, this is one she doesn't use very much, so that's why there's no mold. But I am excited to see that it's free and clear. Good job, mom. I'm gonna drain this. I'm gonna rinse these guys a few times in some clean water and then let them dry. This was a really easy way to clean Charlotte's bath toys and I'm very excited to see that no mold was growing inside. Please let me know in the comments what you do about bath toys. Do you plug them up? Do you clean them? Do you just throw them out and buy new ones? Wasteful, but I do know people that do it. Let me know in the comments below and definitely let me know if there's anything else lurking in your house that you're wanting to know how to clean for you and your kids. See you next week, bye. This is why these bath toys need to be super clean. Where did they go? Uh, a rogue squirtle.